Hey, Razorback fans, and welcome into the very first episode of our brand new series here on Hogs Plus called Camping Out. Over the next couple of weeks, we are going to be showing you a bunch of exclusive content from the Arkansas Razorbacks fall camp practices. We're gonna have some guys mic'd up, we're gonna get some guys in the film room, guys like Rocket Sanders, and also we're gonna have coaches and players joining me here on the show as well. It's gonna be a fun couple of weeks, but today we're gonna kick it off with the head hog himself, Sam Pittman, is gonna join me here in just a couple of minutes. Plus, we're gonna talk with a couple of offensive linemen as well. Camping Out starts right now. Ball stars, defense, offense, defense, offense, boom, 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 boom. Let's go. This is our damn year. It's my year. Destined to be great. You only get one first impression, 2023. All right, I'm joined right now by head coach Sam Pittman. You guys have wrapped up a couple of practices. They're in the books. How's the morning practice going? Oh, it's gone really well. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had a little uh, lightning uh, mm -hmm. a couple times that we had to go in and then yeah. come back out, but uh, it's gone really, really well. I like our team. I love our coaching staff mm -hmm. doing a nice job. They're getting out here pretty early though. Is there the excitement still from the guys that you're seeing, even though it is a little a little bit earlier than yeah, they're used to. Yeah, you know, the breakfast starts at 6.30 and mm -hmm. then we have unit meetings at 7.30 and, and uh, we haven't had anybody late or anything. Oh, I wow. think I think they're just hungry to play yeah. and, and I think they know the benefit of maybe staying out of the heat in the afternoon yeah. for right now. We'll have two weeks of it, so yeah. we'll be in good shape by the time the game starts. Right now I'm looking more for e execution and uh, ability to chase mm -hmm. and run the ball. Well, our guy Jack the other day, he was at practice and he caught a little moment between you and KJ. You were on the field and you walked up to him and just said, you know, I, I love you for coming back. Yeah. What's your relationship with him and how important is he to this team? Well, he's really important to the mm -hmm. team and everybody knows that. Yeah. Uh, and more importantly, he knows that, but you don't see that out yeah. of him. You know, he's, he's trying to get better mm -hmm. and uh, he's trying to have his best year he has. But... Uh, anytime you have KJ or Bo or Brady or any of those guys that have been here that length of time, obviously you get to know them a little bit better, know what pushes their buttons, know what's interesting to them and things of that nature. And anytime that happens, you obviously get closer to them. Yeah. Well, you, like I said, you got a couple practices in the book. Is there anything that really stands out to you so far in terms of what you've seen from the team? Well, I just like the the physicality uh -huh. in our run, in our in our run drills and mm -hmm. things of that nature. I like the size of our team. Yeah. And I think we have a little bit more depth than we've had in the mm -hmm. past. On the offensive line, I'm going to talk to a couple of your guys here in just a bit. But what's the connection like between them and the camaraderies that they, that they have? Well, you know, uh, obviously Braun came in mm -hmm. uh, in the spring. We had Bo and Brady. Yeah. But I tell you, they have taken these two young tackles, or not young, Devin's not really young, he just hadn't experienced, yeah. you know. Uh, they've taken him in the fold in there, and, and they're good players as well. Mm -hmm. I really like the camaraderie yeah. of the guys up front, and I think we're deeper than we've been. That's great. I think the question mark for some of the fans was really at the receiver position. Who's going to yeah. step up? Have you seen anyone kind of take that role? Well, I think Armstrong, Tesla, Sategna, mm -hmm. uh, Wilson, uh, Bakke, uh, obviously Bryce Stevens is a yeah. guy that's, that's uh, doing well. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really proud of that group. They're all catching the ball really well. Are there any improvements that you can already see from fall camp and just the couple of days that you guys have had? I think our quarterback room's a lot better. I mean, I think they've, uh, the t totality of the mm -hmm. room, I think we're a lot better. Obviously, I've talked about our D-line. I like our yeah. D-line. We, we've got to find four linebackers, and I think we are on our way to doing that. Okay. Corner-wise, I think we've, we've found some corners, and, and we've got some depth there. Well, if you could give us kind of like the bullet points of what the main focuses are for fall camp, what would they be? Toughness, physicality, know your assignment, yeah. go execute your assignment. And what's happening right now, that's happening because our depth, you know, people are fighting for their job every yeah. day and fighting to get somebody's job. <laughs> and so I think that's probably what we're preaching. 
Well, I know that we have a film room with Rocket Sanders coming yeah. up in just a couple seconds, but I want to get your take on him in that running back room. How's it looking? Um, I told Rocket this morning I think he's playing as good as he ever has. Wow. Uh, um, very physical, knows what they're doing. I think the difference now is I think everybody understands exactly what to do. Yeah. And there's power in that. If you're in shape, that's powerful for your mind. You know what you're doing, that's powerful. And I think right now that whole room, A.J. Green's cutting better than he ever has, obviously, to Binion. Yeah. And Damo's been doing really well. Well, Coach Pittman, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of fall camp. Like I said, we've got that film room with Rocket Sanders coming up right now. on the ground with rocket stutter steps goes left to the 10 to the 20 sanders they give it to him left side at the 10 rocket at the five into the end zone touchdown arkansas they're going to give it to rocket straight ahead big hole to midfield welcome back to the first episode of the razorback film room for the 2023 season I'm Travis Swanson, your host, and with me today is a man that needs no introduction whatsoever. Number five on the field, a monumental leader, one of the premier players in college football, Rocket Sanders. Rocket, how you doing, man? Good. How about you? Doing good, man. Happy to have you on board. Appreciate y'all. How's uh, how's everything been going so far this year? Great, man. You know, just working, just preparing for this season. Yeah. Well, yes, I was going to read off, we printed off some of your stats here. So you're the first running back at Arkansas to run for 1,400 yards and return back to school since McFadden. You're a 2023 preseason second team All-American from Phil Steel, preseason first team All-SEC from Athlon, preseason first team All-SEC Phil Steel, uh, first team All-SEC AP USA Today in 2022. You've got quite the resume so far. What have you done this year and how excited are you to continue to build on that resume? Really just working on you know, just balance, you know, staying, staying level-headed, you know what I mean? And not trying to listen to everything outside, you know, just staying level-headed, you know what I mean? Um, and just trying to be a t better team player, better leader, you know what I mean? Just a better role model all around. Cause I know I'm blessed, but I know I got many more goals to go and catch, you know, and achieve. So I just yeah. stay straight and stay what's, what's in front of me. For sure. And you're, you're showing your humbleness and it's interesting. You ask a lot of people around this facility to describe you. And that's the first word that they typically bring up hard worker, humble, always keeping his head down, so on and so forth. So the team's had a couple changes this year with coordinators, uh, with Coach Eno specifically coming in. What have you seen from him? How excited are you just to kind of showcase that offense this year? Really, man, um, just with his offense, like when I first did research when he got here, I didn't know too much about him, but I know he went to a couple schools. And um, I was just saying like, when I, when I seen him, he used like all the whole offense, you know what I mean? And I feel like he used the playmakers. Yeah. The playmakers, and I feel like that's the key of winning. Yeah. And um, another thing is, like, one thing he came in and I was, like, surprised of was he didn't get right into the plays. Yeah. He went straight to, like, tempo, like, when do tempo, you know what I mean? The third downs and, like, you know, when, when to stop, like, when the clock running, like, last minute, you know, last yeah. really. And I feel like that's going to help us win. Because, yeah. like, last year we was, sec we was a second half team. Yep. And it's all about how you come out, you know what I mean? And it's always like about the first first down. That's how it was last year. But we need to really mean it and really do it by, yeah. by attacking the first half. So addressing those specific situations and knowing the details in and out of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not just the running back position knowing it, but the quarterback position and the receivers and the O-line knowing all that together. Yeah. I feel like that's going to bring us more close, you know what I mean? And yeah. just knowing all that things, I feel like that's going to get us going. That's awesome. You've got some 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 changes along the offensive line. You've got Bo moving from guard to center. You've got some new pieces plugging in there. What have you seen from those guys so far this year? What excites you about? I feel like with us getting a new offensive coordinator, I feel like just listening up. You know what I mean? Just yeah. listening up and like letting things be patient. Because as a running back group, um, we first got here, we were like, what the heck? Like, what is <laughs> what is this offense? You know what yeah. I mean? Because I myself, I say. I don't like change, but whenever I get change, it'd be different. I get change yeah. and, it, and it's new, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not used to new, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I don't change school from school or whatnot. But like now it's like, we got new and we trying to adapt to it. And by adapting, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta have patience, you yeah. know what I mean? So like with him coming in with spring and teaching us some things and now we going back over it, now we understand the reasons of it. That's awesome, that's awesome. You remember this touchdown run right here? I'm gonna carry here, big hole, pass midfield. Man, 
That was a good block right there. 82, yep, great block. But what's so crazy, another thing to critique this play is they don't see your eyes. You know what I mean? As a defensive player, you don't, they don't see your eyes. So it's all about body movement. You know what I mean? So when I first got the ball, I turned my body a little bit, but I still had my body a little straight, you know what I mean? Like to where I'm pressing it a little bit to the center. Yeah. Still, is that Bo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, a little closer, you know what I mean? I, so instead of going straight to the, right to the play, yep. I, I waited a little bit technically. You set it up. You know a what I mean? Bit. Yeah, set yeah. it up a little bit. So that what I feel like that got, that linebacker, you see it? Oh yeah. The linebacker definitely with me pressing a little more. Kind of have him bite up. You yeah, because when right it, as a running back, it's a lot of space. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you see a lot of space, don't mean that's the hole. You know what I mean? Right away, because it might set you up for something else. Is is what you really read? I haven't been in his position before. Uh -huh. You setting that up makes his job so much. Oh yeah. So, oh so yeah. Much. So much because it's like first you read the defensive line. That's one thing I'm learning now. You first read if it's odd or even. Yep. As a defense, like off as an offensive running back. You know what I mean? Just seeing if it's odd or even, and then into critiquing it really is watching the next level. Yep. And by setting up the next level, you don't go straight to it. You know what I mean? You gotta pressure it a little bit. And one of, one of the things I've noticed about you with your game is you're, you've got this really good blend. It seems like to be patient when you need to be patient. And then when you make a decision, you make it and yeah. you go. You can see this right here. When you shoot through that hole, there is no hesitation. I mean, you're hitting that fifth gear as quick as you can and you constantly do these type things. And it's really, really cool to see, because I think you look out in the landscape, a lot of people in college football right now, and you always have some of that hesitation a little bit amongst some running backs. You heard yes, it from sir. the man himself. Rocket Sanders, I'm Travis Swanson. We'll see you next time. Yes, sir. All right, I'm joined right now by a couple of offensive linemen for the Arkansas Razorbacks. We've got Brady Latham and Bo Limmer here as well. And guys, Morning practices, a little different than what you're used to, but how's it been going so far? We actually love the morning practices. Okay. So you get up, you don't really have to think about anything. You just get breakfast, you go to the morning practices. And for me and Bo, you know, we're, we have to eat a lot and like keep that weight on. <laughs> yeah. So when you practice in the morning, you got the rest of the day to eat and mm -hmm. drink water and stuff. So we love it. You guys have long days though. Practices are in the mornings, but there's a bunch of other stuff. Can you kind of take us through what a day of fall camp looks like? Yeah, so like Brady said, we're up here practicing in the mornings. Mm -hmm. um, we get here, I think we wake up, most of us wake up around uh, 5.30 and get here around 6. So uh, we're up here from probably 6 to 7.30. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously that includes practice and a lot of it's meetings. Yeah. Um, and then throughout the day we'll have team dinners together, team meals, and then also um, we'll do like a walkthrough or two. So, okay. Mm -hmm. What's the O-line room like with you guys? I mean, you two are definitely leaders, but how's everyone else doing, kind of picking everything up? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we lost a lot of guys last mm -hmm. year. And so we've, there's a, we've had a good crew in the office line room and a lot of really athletic guys, guys who are just waiting to step up. And, you know, this is their year. And, you know, Dev, Kudis, Braun, the transfer, they've been all doing amazing. There's a lot of other young guys who are really coming along. Um, it's been awesome. We have a lot of fun on the field, but we're pretty intense at the same time. So it's a it's a yeah. good room, and the personalities in the room really mix well. Well, we saw a film room with Rocket just a couple minutes ago. What's it like working with that running back group that you guys have? They're pretty solid. Yeah, they're really good. Um, Rocket, Dub, AJ, all of them. I mean, you can give any one of them the ball. They're going to yeah. do the same thing. Um, so, I mean, it's great knowing for us that – we're going to block them, they're going to take off. So, And even if we don't block them, they're mm -hmm. going to make somebody miss and they're going to take off. So it's nice knowing that too. So. I hear you guys have a little bit of a joke with KJ. Something about he needs to take you all to Roos Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, please explain this. I made sure, KJ was mic'd up the other day, and I made sure to kind of put that in there so yeah. that, you know, all the people watching could Everyone kind of knows. put the pressure on KJ. <laughs> so, you know, he's been our quarterback for a long time, and uh, we want him to take us out today. Yeah, we want him to treat us well. So. <laughs> I'm sure he could make that happen one <laughs> yeah, day soon. Yeah, he, he promised us he would. So <laughs> Okay, perfect. Pittman earlier talked about the D-line, and they've talked about the strength and the size that those guys have. What's it been like going up against them? It's really, it's really, um, I'd say, challenging for us. Mm -hmm. um, the D-line this year um, has definitely made uh, great improvement. I mean, even the transfers coming in, uh, Tank, um, the Louisiana Tech transfer, I mean, all those guys have just added great depth. Cam Ball being back, um, just doing 
making us work hard and it's going to help us whenever we have to be out there on Saturdays. So. And Bo, you moved to center, so how, how's that been going so far? Yeah, it's definitely different from guard. Um, snapping the ball before you take off is definitely a big change. Um, <laughs> But I'm liking it. It forces me to know the offense inside and out. So I think that's going to help me in the future. Um, and getting to play next to Brady this year has been yeah. fun too. So. Well, everyone's been hyping up Ben Souders and the job that he's done with you guys mm -hmm. in strength and conditioning. There's the video that I have to bring up. It went a little viral. 700 pound squat yeah. by our guy over here, Bo Liver. So uh, yeah. can you tell me what was that like? And I mean, you had the whole team pretty much in there hyping you up. Yeah, that definitely was one of the most um, adrenaline rushing things that I've ever done. Um, <laughs> I hit like 650 before that and mm -hmm. I was going to be done. They told me they didn't want me to get hurt or anything. Um, but I kind of kept egging, egging on. Yeah. And uh, finally they said, all right, let's do it. They got everybody around and everybody started going crazy and <laughs> just did it. So Has anyone come close to that? Um, I think Tank had Tank, a pretty big Tank squat. Tank had a good squat. Okay. Yeah. It was close, but 700 is kind of... Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> but I do have to say, you guys have some uh, some dance moves as well. And we have a video. We got some of the guys on the team to do different dance moves from the past, like, couple decades. And they're fantastic. So we're going to show it to you real quick. I can't do the moonwalk. Can't do the moonwalk. Huh? How do you expect somebody to do the moonwalk? AJ. Moonwalk. <laughs> I think I got it. I definitely can. All right. That's, not bad. That's pretty good. Oh, that is no. the best moonwalk. <laughs> That's awful. That ain't gonna work. Oh, it's really uh, cool. That's a, that's oh, yeah, a good one. Tesla, yeah. No, I'm not doing that. The worm, man. The worm is about five years old. For real? That's a big worm. The camera got me, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh my Dang. gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's too big to be doing all that. That's pretty good. Uh, whoa, what? <laughs> what? That is not, that's terrible. All right, that's good. <laughs> I ain't gonna try that. I ain't gonna try that. That didn't look like the one. Oh, that ain't even gonna happen. Uh-uh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You only get one. You only get one. It's, only, it's not a free show, though. He does that in the locker room too. <laughs> yeah. And in practice. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. I think I refuse to do this. Oh, no. Oh, my. It's gonna be shown. <laughs> no dance move. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I just throw a touchdown. Bo actually dances a lot. That's not true. Does he, he just like doesn't do it in like big groups of people. No, yeah. Okay. That's true. I don't. I'll take it. So what do you guys think of the overall dancing skills on the team? I think it kind of varies. <laughs> yeah. You got a couple pretty good dancers yeah. and then you got a lot of pretty bad ones. Yeah, it's here. It's one way or the other. Maybe we'll see some more of it throughout fall camp. Yeah. Maybe a little bit maybe, during practices. Maybe, we, maybe if we get a touchdown, you might yeah. have to see Oh, okay. A little We're celebration. Gonna have, oh, I'm going to expect this now <laughs> yeah. during the season. I want to see this. Uh -huh. But guys, thank you so much for coming on here on Camping Out, our first edition of our new fall camp series. Really appreciate your time and best of luck throughout fall camp in the season. Well, thank you. Thank you very much.
Well, we've got a lot of great stuff coming to Hogs Plus throughout fall camp. If you want to watch that full film room with Rocket Sanders, that is live on our website right now. Plus, be sure to tune in on Thursday at 8 p.m. here on hogsplus.com because Growing Up Grovey is coming to our website. It's going to be a three-part series, part one, like I mentioned, on Thursday night. And you're going to be seeing a special guest join us as well. Bobby Bones is going to be on that show. A ton of great stuff coming all week long and next Tuesday you can find us right back here on Camping Out and Dan Enos will be joining us. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great night.